what we're going to do is go into our resource folder. We are going to be using some nice distressed halftones today. And all we're going to have to do is once it is open, I just get to click it. So I'm just control copy. I'm just going to come right on back, control V. So I'm just plopping it down. And you're going to notice that as soon as I plop it down, it basically will show up in my swatches. So once it does that, I can just delete it. So this is what I am going to be looking for. And we are going to be adding it so we can just show you the process here. I'm going to come over to my magic wand, just double click and see if that tolerance is down to five. So I'm going to grab all of our darks. And this is what we are going to do. Now if I just come over here and click it, you're going to notice that it is a transparent pattern. So the base color, so if I come back over to our layers, so you can see what's happening, it basically will delete and or it will show the shadow color onto that base color. So there's our base color, there is our shadow color. So we're going to lose those darks. Now if I want to keep that dark, I'm going to go Control C, Control F. So that is just edit. I just copied and then I pasted those shapes directly back in front. So notice I have two. Come back over to our swatches. Now I can color them so those that dark red stays and then I have the pattern. So this is what we are going to do. Let's get fancy for a second. So I'm going to click on my swatches. I'm just going to double click until this pattern option shows up. I'm going to then double click on this big swatch preview. Now I'm going to take my magic wand and then I'm going to select it. So I'm basically it's just three times. Double click the swatch. Double click it again until you get to the pattern options. Then you want to double click the swatch preview and then this will pop up. So I am using the magic wand so I can grab it. And then all we're going to do is we're going to just color it. Save a copy. And I'm just going to think about what colors because we don't need that many of them but it's just kind of nice to have some options while we are here it is very simple so all I have to do is change the color save and it's gonna be really subtle on this video so if I go to blue you're gonna notice that all the half turns turn to blue then I just come over to the top you'll see save a copy and I'm getting new swatches each time I'm doing that I think I want a nice little dark green save and we might not do all of these, but you might see in some future, some of the finals that you might see some more half half tones. So this is just, if I have them, I have more options on where I can put them. And it's going to be very subtle. So this is going to be a much more subtle way of putting in some half tones. I think I am done, so I'm just going to cancel out. Now why I kick, clicked cancel, by the way, is so I still maintain my dark. If I just click done, it'll be that it'll will change it to the final color. So just be aware of that. Not a big deal if it happens. All right. So now I'm gonna let's go back. So I'm gonna grab my half tone, and then I'm gonna switch it over to the red. Let's do the same thing here. I'm gonna go Control C, Control F. I'm gonna grab my green, Control C, Control F. Again, that's just edit, copy, edit, paste. Maybe that one will be green. Okay, I think we are good with half tones. And that's just, once we did the changing of the color, you can kind of have a field day with how many or how much or how few half tone patterns you have on it. With that said, I will see you guys on the next tutorial. And thanks for hanging out.